Introducing Secrets of Birthdays. Bow chicka bow wow. Are you ready to find love? Bow chicka bow wow. Your secrets are coming out. Bow chicka bow wow. All those sexy secrets are available at secretsofbirthdays.com. Bow chicka bow wow, baby. Hello, Your Honor, and welcome now to Wednesday. Sunny and social today for the judge and juries of the Zodiac. The moon is in Leo. So your emotions are focused on your context energy. Who are you in the room? Who are you in the company? Who are you in the state? Who are you in the family? Context, right? Friendship, our sphere of influence. Who are we in this little circle of people? We all have contexts, and you're emotionally sensitive to your context today. So, for instance, you might be really jazzed up that your mentor is here today and you are, a, you are a disciple of this great mentor. That's a context. Oh my gosh, my teacher, I love that. In the same sense, you might get annoyed with context in the sense of, I hate sharing this cubicle with this guy who never brushes his teeth. I hate that context. <laughs> so your emotions can be jazzed up for the good or negative for the bad, but be conscious of the fact that they are hyped up for context. Zip into the sun. We're in chapter three of Sun in Aries. The Librans are working on something heavy relationships this month. Today, Mercury rules the day. I had predicted in the last 24 hours a breakdown that hopefully should reveal to you the truth about what you need to do when it comes to relationships and maintaining balance in your life. Now, that doesn't mean that you're ready to do it now. It doesn't mean you have the resources to do it now. It doesn't mean you, you know how you're going to do it. But I do predict you're going to understand what relationships need to be today and where you want them to be in the next seven years. And that is the essence of this Year's sun in Aries, so keep an eye out for breakthrough. And Mer uh, Neptune, Neptune is now in Pisces. This is a very big deal. I'm recording an Astro Extra for this to get super deep on it, so stay tuned for that. But Neptune in Pisces does mean a major shift in the source of our intuitive energy. In fact, for the next two months, Neptune is zero degrees Pisces, so it's offline. And I always say zero means zero, right? Now, Neptune has been working for a long time with the Librans on, of course, connecting you. Uh, Neptune has been in Aquarius, so it has been connecting you to what? Your inner child and what you believe in and what your inner child really wants. So in some senses of the word, you need to stay in your own sense of intuition as far as where that needs to go. Because with Neptune offline in the next couple of months, Neptune's not gonna force feed you what you've just spent seven years working on. Neptune's not gonna force feed you what you're gonna do next. Neptune's gonna be quiet. So stay logged in and remember what your heart really desires. Neptune will retrograde back in Aquarius and give you a chance to kind of upgrade, listen again, and then it goes back. But while it's in zero degrees, I think we're on our own, and I think meditation is the key or some connection. And it's Wednesday. We've got Skip Jennings, Urban Mystic, live today. He is doing his question and answer episode. If you posted a question to Skip in the last 30 days, he may have answered you today. If you didn't, watch anyways, because Skip is brilliant, especially when he answers these off-the-wall questions. Skip is live everywhere the garden is blooming. All right, that's all I have for today, Your Honor, but I'll be back tomorrow with more. Until then, live, love, be. So